August 3rd, 2019. I'm not sure if the video is coming in dark or not. Um, this is UT. I was going to do a rundown of all the different pepper varieties we had. We just did a tomato one as well. Um, in the tomato one, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'll put a, a list of all the tomatoes that are down there, and I'll try to do that with the peppers as well. We have 25 different varieties total. So let me show you really quick. I'll try to run them down so this video don't get too long. This is the gumball pepper. We don't have any flowering on it yet. And this is one that we tried several times and even had some issues with seeds. It looks like a pretty strong plant. We're just still kind of waiting for it to flower and we're hoping uh, it can still do so because it's kind of got relegated to the back here. So several tries and stuff. That's the gumball pepper. This one right here came from a little dirt never hurt, sent us some seeds up in Canada. This is the Aji lemon. We're super excited about this one because our sugar rush peach is set back and struggling. And like this plant is almost rubber. So when we had our cold snap, um, some of the stuff that survived with this one, I'm guessing maybe the seeds were grown in Canada as well. So our cold snap, it was like, you know, chill. It was all right with that. It doesn't really like the heat as much. So keeping it back here in the shade has allowed it to kind of really get its growth about it. Not a lot of flowering on it yet though, but some starting, some small flowers. This one right here is supposed to be a Carolina Reaper. Yeah, but I think it came from seeds that might not be a reaper. It's growing really, really long like a lot of the tall peppers do. It does seem similar in the leaving and stuff, though, that it might be a super hot of some sort. I'm just not sure what kind. So we're going to find out if that's a reaper or something else, but it's counted as one of the types. This is the fish pepper. This whiting on the leaves is very agation, so that's the unique feature we were looking for in this pepper plant is just the way the leaves are variegated. Let me show you two. The actual pepper. It does have some stripes on it, but you can't really see it. There is it in striping this light. on it. Yeah, you won't be able to see it in this light very well, but it's starting to get some more flowers and some more peppers. Uh, we took one off earlier, and Angel, Angel dared to eat the whole thing. It burnt her, but it wasn't, wasn't quite bad. as bad as a jalapeno, a little more lightning than it the thunder. It was early, too, so I think maybe with it being early and not ripe, the, it wasn't as hot. So, this is the white habanero. It's a really growing bushy and squat. Um, I went and looked this one up a little bit online and saw a really old video from Kangstar, and he shows them as being more of an ornamental plant and almost not habanero like. So, it should get some really little pods on it that are white and somehow have habanero in them, but it's more of an ornamental, smaller style pepper. So, we'll take a look at that one. It's getting some flowering on it. This one right here is the lemon jalapeno. We're already starting to get some peppers. I'm so excited. This is uh, Angel's Choice from Baker Creek this year. And that's uh, it's got a couple more pods starting on it. This one right here, we got seeds from a friend and it is the Buena Mulata and it is doing really good so far. Yeah, we've got several peppers. The only going. reason we haven't done a test video on that one is because we're saving those prime pods for seeds. You want to save from the best pods. We're going to let those ones ripen up. But we do have some coming in quickly behind. Usually we like to try to pull the first ones off and try to get more flowering. But we're running a bit, a bit behind this year. Yeah. This one's the Sugar Rush Peach. It's starting to get some flowering finally. Yeah. This one was almost uh, completely gone at one point. It was hit so bad. Yeah. This one is the Mary Curry Cross between a poblano and a pimento, and it is a strong plant. Look at this. It's almost like you can tell that the plant is trying to be two different plants. It did this on its own. It's coming from one branch. The branch is divided way down low and splitting. Almost like that uh, Reese Tomate uh, tomato plant. It's really uh, kind of mm -hmm. showing that it's unique in that way. This one right here is a struggling, but somehow still made it into our yard and is uh, making it. This is the Fushimi pepper. So Ooh, we got some peppers going. Ah. That's the Fushimi. This one right here is a Midwest cross pepper, a hybrid pepper that came from an Oda and another hot jalapeno or uh, black Hungarian possibly, but we're thinking possibly jalapeno as well. This one and another plant that we have that I'll show in just a second. Really, really productive on these. Uh, We've already gotten a couple peppers from this plant, um, but I'm noticing the 
peppers. Oh, it's starting to turn more green, but they were more yellow, so it might be. Yeah, it's uh, in its first couple years of trying to select the best ones of identity crisis, so. Yeah. <coughs> this one right here is the Reza Macedonia, and it stands for engraved pepper. And I don't know if this will show up, but it's... It has a lot of striations on the peppers. The more so. of these engraved lines it gets on it, here, the hotter it gets. And that's one that's really coming along. So we're waiting on that one for a second. We're going to be t able to test that. It's supposed to be a hot pepper, but it gets kind of reddish brown with these lines on it that almost look like uh, engravings or writings like on a scroll. This one is the pumpkin pepper. It's got a really hard to pronounce name. I think uh, Midwest just harvested a couple of these as well. Really, really cool looking pepper. It's supposed to be a sweet pepper and we're hoping its uniqueness will kind of draw a kiddo in, um, in his curiosity. This one right here is an Oda. And our Odas came out really squat this year, like super like low yeah, to the ground. Tiny. We've already got like th four three or four Odas off of this. Like, and I'll go ahead and take these ones off right here as well. Because we want this one to flower. We're gonna try to cross the Oda with the Midwest, but we want the mother plant, the one that accepts the pollen, to be coming from the stronger plant. So if we pull the Oda over to the Midwest, it'll pull some of the Oda back into the Midwest pepper, but keep the Midwest true to the Midwest. If we pull the Midwest into the Oda, less of the features of the Midwest will show up in the Oda and it'll be more Oda. So I would rather that the mother plant was the Midwest and try to draw some of that back towards the Oda possibly. But that's our plan. I just need this one to flower more so I can collect the pollen from it. Otherwise, this and another plant we have ready to go. This one is the Dulce Sol. This is the one that we tried uh, some pods off earlier this year and it tasted like mango. So we were really excited about that, especially for things like mango salsa. Um, Dulce Sol means sweet sun, but to us it looks more like little yellow air balloons as they kind of like stick up off the top of the plant. It's a bushy variety as well. This is the Shishito pepper. And I'm not sure if it's the Fushimi or the Shishito, but it means lion's face. And it's supposed to have something to do with the way that the end of those look. There's several pods starting on here. It's not showing up good in the camera. We have... This is the Korbaki, and we've had one pepper off of it so far. And it was tasty. It was super good. We like them, the Korbaki for some reason. We like them, I like them personally green a little bit more. Yeah, they're pretty good. Look at that Shishito. It's coming back too. That's a stick that took a bad hit. This one is the white ghost pepper, and it is really kind of cool. It looks almost like a little palm tree. Yeah, it's getting more bushy on the top, so it doesn't quite look as much like it, but um, from a couple weeks ago, it's gotten a lot bushier and more leaves. So that's the white ghost. This is the black cobra pepper. We've got no flowering on it yet, but this is so bizarre. All that white on there is like fur. It's, it's a furry plant. It's very soft and furry and that's what all that white you see there is even on the leaves and stuff we had rain a, a day or two ago and the more humidity that's in the air the more fur it has on it it's really really bizarre it's really soft and furry pepper plant i've never seen a, a unique variety like that but it's a black cobra and we got the seeds from ebay we'll have to look for them again because i haven't seen them anywhere else yet this is uh seeds from a friend it's the albino bullnose and we got some starting on here We've already had one off of it and it was really good. Yeah, we've tried one of those already, but it was the deformed nub kind of beginning ones and stuff like that, so it wasn't really a good taste on it. This one is a lipstick pepper with uh, a few ornamental medusas around it and they're starting to flower again. We barely got this one into a better sunspot. It was uh, kind of struggling a bit. This one back here is the Bohemian Goat. It's another super hot type of pepper, and this one is just branching all over the place. A really squat, strong plant. So, Bohemian Goat, Lipstick and Medusa, Albino Bullnose, White Ghost, Black Cobra, Korbaki, Dulce Sol, Shishito, Oda, Pumpkin Pepper. I'm going to learn how to say that probably. Mm -hmm. 
um, Midwest. Midwest Cross, Res Macedonia, or engraved pepper. Um, <laughs> Mary Curry Cross, <laughs> Fushimi, Sugar Rush Peach, Buena Mulata, White Habanero, Lemon Jalapeno, fish. the Fish Pepper, the Carolina Reaper, probably not a Reaper, uh, Lemon Drop or Aji Lemon Pepper, and the Gumball Pepper. And then uh, we still have one more right over here. And we have another one after that. This is an extra Midwest Cross that we have. Oh, we have two more. And another one after that. So this would be 24. That's, That's the, the gold finger. Gold finger ornamental. It's got a gold one on the back side of it, if you can see it. Yeah. We've already saved in, uh, lots of seeds from that one. And then over here we have our Red hot cherry, yep. cherry bomb. This has come from seeds from a plant that's been in our yard a few years now. We actually wintered this one over not last cold season, but the cold season before, and saved seeds from that plant. And this is it right here. We can probably take this off and get some more growing, but uh, it comes from a garbage bucket. <laughs> <laughs> so some of the buckets and stuff we find near dumpsters, well, I'll run out there and get them. I won't make Angel go fetch them, but this is UT and this is an Oda Nubule, August 3rd, 2019, 25 types. I'll uh, put them in the comments. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.